Hi, welcome to the Melbourne to Osaka Race Tracker. My name is Simon Dryden, I'm the Race Director and I'm just going to give you a little tour around the tracker so that you can uh, get a better understanding of how it works and how useful various bits of information and things are. So if you have a look here, we've got the main website from the Melbourne Osaka that we've taken up. And down the bottom here, we can see there's a little button that you can push that's to the tracker. So we'll just push that. And what we see there is we see the race tracker for the Melbourne to Osaka open. And when it opens, it'll sort of zoom in to the closest area that shows all the boats. All right, so if we start with this primary race screen, is if we start up in the left corner if we click this spot is we can do some fairly obvious things that we can show the boats tracks show the boat names turn these things on and off but they're all fairly obvious so i'm not going to go into much detail about them the second thing if we start here is we can see this is the zoom in button that's the zoom out button so quite easy if you're on a desktop you can just use your mouse to scroll with your scroll button you can do the same thing scroll in and out we look at the next bit we have the leaderboard and uh, with the leaderboard up here you will find is where you can choose the handicaps so you can see who's winning in performance who's in IRC or who's in AMS so that's useful when the race all gets underway but at the moment the uh, leaderboard is basically what you can do so you can see the boats that are closest to Japan with their distances here to go um, where you look at the ETAs the ETAs won't really mean a lot until the boats get a fair way down the course so we need to get a good average speed so we get an indication of when we might think they might arrive but again this here just depending on winds and conditions there's a hell of a long way to go so at the moment it's not going to be super accurate but as they get closer to Osaka it'll become more and more accurate the other thing that we can see on this leaderboard tab is we can go and have a look at the boats so if we look here we've got all the boats in alphabetical order and if we go down to blue water tracks which is grant and sue um, and grant very gracefully has provided the blue water tracker to the orcv so you put your hands together for grant he's done a great job but anyway here we can have a look we can see the boat we can see about the boat and if we go and have a look at grant we can see a bigger picture of him and we can read a bit down here about what he's all about the other good thing is if boats have facebook pages and other things we can add the link up here and you can go directly to their facebook page and you can make a comment so you can comment that you know great to see them going whatever you like and it's easy you can then you can also follow their their page so that you're getting information from the boat direct okay so we've covered the leaderboard and the boats that you see here and so we'll now go back to the main screen if we have a look while we are moving the boat in and out is you'll see down here there's a little bit of a scale to give you an idea of how big the distances is so you can use that to have a look at roughly how much the distances are down the bottom here is the race scroller so if we scroll back you'll see the boats will move back down the course and further up the course so we can see where they've gone and what tracks they've used okay there we are so we've done that and so the next thing when we come to a boat when we hover over a boat this little screen opens this little screen the first bit that opens it tells you where they are doing in um, line honors and the handicaps that they're in and it also tells you some average speeds distance traveled and all those sorts of things the next part that you get to is that if you click this little button we can see the crew and if we push the down arrow we can see their information up arrow to close it so there's the pictures of the crew if we hover over them we can see a bit bigger picture and uh, if you need to see a bigger picture go back to the leaderboard and you can see it there the next most useful button is this little one which tells us how far away boats are to this particular boat so as we've got three boats racing at the moment it says the edge is 45 miles away and this little arrow gives you the direction and morning star is 297 miles away so that's all quite useful and the next little thing that we can see is that we can see over the last little while the boat speed so you can see when they're going faster sorry we've moved off the screen there we can see where they're going faster and slower and so that will um, give you an indication of how they're going 
The next thing that you can do is this is the actual position that comes in from their tracker and it tells you what date it came in and what time, tells you how long ago and gives you their exact longitude and latitude and their speed and their course over the ground. So you, these things are actually what we're receiving from the boat and they what is what gets placed on all the positions. All right, the last thing we can do if we want to is we can come to this screen and we can personalize our boat. So if we look at Bartolone, we can click on this color here and we can decide we want to make them nice fuchsia pink. And then we can look at their tracker and say we want a matching fuchsia pink line. And here we can also, if we want to say, make a nice big line. So we can see a nice big thick line so we can always see where our boat Bartolome is. Yeah, the last thing that you can do on this scale here is you could put range rings around. So useful when boats are close together and you want to know how far away. So we might put five rings and we'll put them at 10 miles apart. And so when we go back to the screen, we can work out the distance between two boats and all those particular things. So thanks again to Grant and Thelma Danoon for making this tracker for us. And I hope you enjoy watching the Osaka race and we'll give you a fresh update soon. Thank you.